Hey friends! So with Mother's Day just two weeks away now, I thought it would be fun to do a roundup of 25 unique gift ideas that you can either give your mom, give another mom figure in your life, mother-in-law, or even pass this video on to your hubby to share with him some things that you might like as well. So let's do a very quick roundup of 25 awesome Mother's Day gift ideas. Okay, so number one would be this necktie. I am totally digging this new necktie trend. These are just bandanas. I recently bought this one from Anthropology. I also have one from Madewell, but these again are so affordable and it will hip any mom in your life out. You know me, I love a good house plan. Bought today for $4 at Home Depot and I believe I bought this little vessel a while ago at a thrift store for maybe like a buck. So this whole thing is like $5. I think it is so fun to get house plants. It just keeps things fresh, new life in your house. And I think it's a fun, really affordable way to show somebody that you love them, that you care about them and a house plant is always a plus at least in my book <laughs> i am a sucker for cake plates this cake plate i bought at target a while ago you can find cake plates online at shop terrain at anthropology at target everywhere for a mom in your life that loves entertaining and hosting like i just love it. i think they're so fun and so cute for parties events and a way to just kind of dress up your cake plate is you could always give this to somebody with a mini little cake on top cupcakes scones, muffins, cookies, as just kind of an overall little package. So, cake plate. I have been totally digging this magazine. This is the first issue I bought. I bought a year subscription. It's $20 on Amazon. They get four magazines, so it's quarterly, and I think it'd be sweet to give this to a mom in your life. Tie a big ribbon around it and add a little note saying this is coming to you. It's a gift that keeps on giving. If the mom in your life loves Joanna Gaines, I don't know who doesn't or wouldn't love this, but this is a really great magazine. I was very impressed with the Magnolia Journal. I have ran out of my favorite beauty counter lip gloss. It is a total splurge, but it is such a great gift. So I totally suggest finding a beauty counter consultant near you or just purchasing one online. I personally have had the opal, but wanna try a new fresh pink color for summer. So beauty counter lip gloss would be a seriously fabulous gift. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is my favorite activated charcoal exfoliating face mask. You can buy a single set online or you can buy a pack of five for $18. This is such a treat. It's just a treat to have just a unique new face mask that again, something you wouldn't buy for yourself but would make a fabulous gift. I have bought gifts before for people and I've also received these gifts before but new infused olive oil or balsamic vinegar is something that is really just fun to get. I love making unique new dressings with, with these things. A lot of cities you have your local kind of unique olive oil shop, so go pick out kind of flavor combo. Okay, jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. I shared last week on my April favorite things that I love, my Carrie Saxel jewelry. Again, this would be a phenomenal Mother's Day gift. It comes, they have a couple different ones that come in pairs of two, so you could keep one for yourself and you can gift one to your own mom or whatever, but it's great. I've also shared about these before. These little copper bracelets have my kids' names on them. I've bought these on Etsy. You can find them all over Etsy. Here's a shop here. I found some similar to mine. $18 a piece. I think every mom loves jewelry with their kids names on it like loves names initials anything you cannot go wrong with that and there are so many options out there books books are always a really great gift if you have a book that you love whether it be on motherhood or just any other book books are make a fabulous gift because it gives moms just the time and resources to sit down and invest in motherhood and learning how to parent Devotionals, devotionals are also a great gift. I found all these great ones on motherhood. I think just something that moms can sit down and just pour in, give two minutes a day to just read a quick devotional would be a really fabulous gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> In the past, I love putting little fun gift baskets together. So just buy a little tin, little basket somewhere and just stuff it with some fun chocolate, maybe some gourmet candy, a bottle of wine, maybe copper mugs, cocktail mixers. You can also put dish towels in there, um, a candle, just a fun little gift basket that you can put together would make a great gift. 
I love our local day spa. I love, love, love when my husband treats me to a gift card there and I can get a massage or a facial. And not only that, but then it allows the mom to get away and not only have fresh dewy skin or feel relaxed, but you get an hour or so time to yourself, which is always a fabulous gift. Which leads me to a mani pedi. What mom does not want to go and pamper herself and get a mani pedi? I mean, look at these nails. They are pretty bad. I got my gel nails peeling off. I could totally use a mani pedi gift card and I'm sure my mom would love that too. What mom would not love a frame picture of her and her babies, whether that be the grandparents and her kids like our age or her and her grandbabies or I, if my husband gave a picture of me with my babies or even paid for a photographer to take our family photos, that is to me an invaluable gift. Like when I get pictures of me and my kids, it is the best gift in the world to me. A couple years ago, I bought my mom and my mother-in-law these brag books. These brag books on Pinhole Press have these really cool canvas covers and they accordion open and they have all these really great pictures that you can put in on both sides. And it's just a fun little memento that grandparents can stick in their purse and pull out and show all their friends, coworkers, relatives nearby their photos of their kids or grandkids. And I think it's such a fun book and you can always find discount codes online. So sentimental and special. Who doesn't love coffee? I know a lot of young moms love coffee or even tea. Go pick up a specialty tea or local coffee roaster in your area and go buy them that. I personally would love trying someone's favorite local coffee company. Um, a bag, a pound of beans would be so right up my alley. Which goes, you could also pair it with a mug. Anthropology has really fun mugs monogram mugs, so does Pottery Barn and West Elm. I mean, you can just find really cute mugs all over. I know people have tons of mugs, but I personally, it just kind of brightens up your morning and brings a little extra spark of joy when you have a fresh mug. So fun coffee, fresh mug, great gift. My husband is obsessed with this Yeti mug. I actually want one myself. He literally takes it everywhere. It keeps the coffee hot for hours, which as a young mom, the cup of coffee is not hot long enough. And I also think a new water bottle would be great. My tumblers get kind of old or cracked or broken and you can find fun tumblers everywhere. Nordstrom has a lot. The Hydro Flask is awesome. But a new tumbler is just very practical. Spring, almost summer, I think May is just the month that just propels us into thinking about summer. I think a great gift would be a new straw hat. Straw hats are great for protecting us from the sun. This one I actually bought at Forever 21 for probably like $12 last year and I love it. I think it is phenomenal. I'm kind of keeping my eye on some of these Brixton hats for the summer as well for travel, upcoming vacation plans. I personally would love getting a new hat myself. So just, just saying. Perfume. What is your mom's favorite perfume? Does she have a favorite scent? Get her a new bottle of her favorite perfume that she wears or get her a little travel size to something that you personally love. I love these Turkish towels. I found them for 22 bucks on Amazon. They have all these really beautiful colors. It's something, again, I wouldn't buy for myself, but if someone gave that to me, I would kind of feel like, ooh, it would make going to the beach exciting. You kind of feel a little luxurious. Oh, Nordstrom also carries them. I mean, you can find these Turkish towels everywhere, but again, this towel has to be for you, the mom, and not let your kids and their dirty little hands all over it, but it does kind of elevate your pool or beach experience for the summer. In the spring, I'm always wanting some new spring summer sandals, and I actually bought these uh, from Forever 21, they were probably $18, but Forever 21 has a lot of great slip-on sandals. I know Old Navy does, Gap. I also bought my favorite ones that were $15.99 at Target, but if you know their size, you cannot go wrong with an updated pair of sandals. Just great. Keep it neutral, keep it simple so that you know that they'll like it. And my last gift idea is a really great tote bag. This tote bag I've mentioned a million times before on my channel. This is by Ballard Designs. It is monogrammed, but these bags are awesome. This is kind of like a, a canvas burlap bag. It's lined inside, so it's kind of waterproof. I love this bag for weekend trips. You could use it for the beach. There are also a lot of really great straw totes that I noticed at Target at Nordstrom there's a bunch but a tote for summer is such a great idea and I again would personally love this that is it on our Mother's Day Roundup thank you guys so much for watching today if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with a friend subscribe and we will see you guys next week hope everyone has a really awesome weekend bye